the Scranton State Chokers? Now the Penn State fans are joining in on the trash talk as they held this sign at college game day. Why does Penn State hate Scranton State so much? Scranton State's coming off another heartbreaking loss as they took the L in overtime to the Charlotte 49ers. But today, they look to get back on track as they take on North Texas. Get right down to the field. This is Ken. See ya. North Texas travels to Scranton today as we're going to get underway early in this one. No intro needed. Let's play some football. North Texas will start with this ball. Ball taken out of the end zone and a decent return. Gain of about 18. Look at Coach Brandon Pointer. He's a stud. Star player here for the Mean Green is Ikeka Ragsdale. He's a junior running back. Team in the backfield, number six. He's actually going to take the first handoff of the day, and he's got room right up the middle. He makes a man miss, and Ragsdale up to the 41 after just one play. The Mean Green, another team that uses a bunch of hurry up. They are constantly moving, never huddling. They are just ready to go play after play. There's a nice play on the outside. That's Avery Duvall making a tackle for loss. And that'll make it second down and 12. Quarterback making a change at the line of scrimmage here. See what they come up with. Second and 12. And it is a draw play for the QB. And he's able to pick up nothing. Nice tackle there by Cyrus Crosby. Fun fact, I've been calling him Carter Crosby this whole time. His name is Cyrus. There's a sack. Aaron Bruner comes in on the corner blitz. And he's able to take down the QB for a loss of nine. Fourth down and 21. The Mean Green will punt this one off to Scranton. Never mind, we're getting a replay first. I'm bad at this. Look at Aaron Bruner, man. Quarterback thought he could get away. He didn't quite have the wheels. Nicky Price leads his offense onto the field once again. Been a high-scoring offense this entire season. First play of this game is a quick pass to the outside. That is caught by Mac Moody, and Moody makes a man miss, but still loses two. Second down and 12. Price back to pass. Trying to find someone over the middle, just couldn't quite get the throw off, and it's third and 12. Trying to avoid a quick three and out. Price rolling out to his right, looking for some room, doesn't quite have any. It's fourth down and 10, and Scranton will punt it right back. The Mean Green start this drive at their own 18, and there's a nice pass over the middle. Chandler Morris with a beautiful dime as that gets them across midfield. Makes it first and 10 from the 49. Mean Green back in the hurry up once again. Hand off. I kick a Ragsdale, and he fights off a defender and picks up four. Makes it a manageable second down and six. As we will see what the Mean Green come up with here. Morris making more changes at the line of scrimmage. And it's just going to be another handoff to Ragsdale. Oh, that's not Ragsdale. But either way... Zach Evans able to pick up the first down and a bit more. The Mean Green marching down the field on this drive as they're already up to the 34-yard line. Morris back to pass again. Looking over the middle, he's got another huge gain. As Gabe Blair goes down with an injury for the Mean Green. I need to stop saying Mean Green. We're going to switch it up a little bit. North Texas is also what they're called. Second and goal now. Back to pass Morris again. Morris got, him, got his man in the end zone. Touchdown, Mean Green. I said it again. <laughs> they marched right down the field on Scranton State as they take a 7-0 lead. Ensuing kickoff. Ahmad Young going to catch this at about his own two-yard line, and Young finds a lane to run through. Young outruns a defender. He makes a man miss. Ahmad Young is at the 40. Ahmad Young at the 15-5. Touchdown! The first kickoff return for a touchdown in team history. Scranton State ties the game just like that. We're going to get another look here. Ahmad Young finds the smallest bit of a lane to run through and then shows off his elusiveness and speed. He takes this one all the way to the house. 7-7 seven to seven score now. Just under seven minutes left in this quarter. Chandler Morris takes it himself on this one and picks up a gain of about three or four as Gabe Blair is down with yet another injury. Second down and four. Pass goes over the middle once again. 
And this receiver has just been getting busy early in this one. Uh, I wish I knew his name so I could commentate better. Uh, <laughs> I need to start looking these things up, man. Second and goal now from the seven after a three-yard run. And Morris keeps it himself. Chandler Morris dives. Touchdown, North Texas. Scranton State has absolutely no answers for this offense. 14-7 to seven is your score now. We see Scranton State's offense once again. This pass over the middle. Third down play overthrown for James Abel. North Texas takes back over and gets an easy touchdown. And if you're wondering why I am um, kind of, I don't know, starting to speed run through this game, well, here's another third down and five for Scranton State. Bryce back to pass, looking for a man on the outside, and it's another overthrow. And there's another fourth down punt. And North Texas ran right down the field and scored again. 28 to 7. Yeah, it doesn't really get much better for us. This uh this first part of the video here is pretty much just a North Texas highlight reel. I decided to play one more drive later in the game, 42 to 7. And Nikki Price made a decent ball here to Kit McCrary, but he had it knocked loose and it was tipped and caught and um yeah. So let's look at the replays. Actually, in, based on what defenders were in this area, it's a great ball. It is a beautiful ball by Nikki Price. Uh, but Kit McCray couldn't come down with it. It was knocked out of his hands. It was picked off. And, um, yeah. This game, we ended up losing 48-10. to 10. I didn't even end up playing the rest of it. Uh, North Texas smoked us. They absolutely fried us. Grand State had no chance in this game. But have no fear. This is going to be a two-game episode. But first, let's get an update on recruiting. We uh, have Jaden Elway scheduled to visit here. And we also have Curtis Punga. We're going to do a soft sell. Is it a soft sell, I believe? Yeah, a soft sell on him. Amani Boenko getting a hard sell. Um, and I believe that is all we do here. Yes, now the Scranton State is in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I forgot where Temple was. Playing here at Lincoln Financial Field. And, uh, you know, you'll never see the link this empty. Nobody cares about Temple football. That was harsh. I didn't need to do all that. We're rocking the lightning yellow alternate unis today. Uh, let me know what you think of them. I think they're... Um, they're definitely one of the uniforms of all time. We are underway here in Philly. Ahmad Young with another return here. Can he do what he did against North Texas? No, he's just about out to the 19-yard line. Coach Brandon Pointer sticking with his man, Nicky Price. He's got faith in him. I don't blame him. He's been electric all year long. First play of this game, handoff goes to Mac Moody, and Moody picks up a gain of about two. I'll make it second down and eight. Price back to pass, and that one's picked off. Tried to hit Rocky Gamble up the seam. And this ball was severely underthrown by Nicky Price. He's not having his best day out there. Is he going to complete this pass either way? Probably not. But Rocky Price has to turn around for this football. And it's just not a good pass by Nicky Price. First and 10 from the 37 now. Pass to the outside by Temple and is knocked away. Like that second and ten. It is a handoff to the back, and he will pick up a gain of just about one, and just like that, it is third down and nine. Third and nine. Temple back to pass again. This one's caught by the big tight end, number 95. He makes it fourth and one as Reese Clark picks up eight. Fourth down and one now. Handoff to the back once again. He finds space, and he goes right up the middle for a gain of 21. Joe Quez Smith with a big gain. First and goal from the seven for Temple. As it's another handoff to Joe Quez Smith. And this time he's met in the backfield. That's Brooks Lacey who takes him down for a loss of one. Second and goal from the eight. Temple, another hurry up offense. And they're looking for a man over the middle. They've got the tight end. It's a touchdown for Temple. 
didn't take long for Scranton to get down in this one. Nicky Price looking to come back in this one now. He uh, hands off to Mac Moody on the first play of this drive, and Moody makes a couple cuts to the outside. Mac Moody showing off the wheels. Big time gain, 36 yards, Mac Moody. I tell you what, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of new faces on Scranton State next season. Mac Moody will be a constant. He will stay on this team. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind. First and 10 from the 39. Now Kip McGrary comes in motion. It's a quick flip to Kip. And Kip trying to get around the edge. He's able to pick up a gain of about four. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Price back to pass again over the middle. He's got Anton Ackerman. A gain of about seven. First down, Scranton State. Price. Fake handoff to Mac Moody now. Looking for the end zone and under throws Rocky Gamble once again. If he gets that to the end zone, he might have a chance there. Second down and 10 now. Handoff to Moody once again. Picks up a gain of about two. Makes it a manageable third and eight. Price back to pass on third down. Nicky Price sacked. He loses the football. Luckily able to scoop it up himself. And Scranton's going to attempt a 51-yard field goal. This one is up. And good. We're gonna get better at these kicks. Don't worry. Temple takes over with a seven to three lead as this first play is. Yeah, I forgot how to commentate. Forrest Brock picks up eight on that pass. I'll make it second down and two. And on second and two, it's a quick pass to the outside. This one caught. Gain of about. Nine yards there. It's a first down for Temple. First and ten from the 34 now. And Morris, quick pass to the outside once again. And this one is going to go for a loss. Reese Clark had nowhere to go. Second and 12. Some more hurry up here for Temple. Morris gets his offense set up. Making a change at the line of scrimmage. I need to start cutting out all this. Who wants to sit here and watch all that? Morris with a quick pass to the outside. That one's caught for a gain of about five, and that'll make it third down and seven. See if Scranton State can get off the field here. Third and seven. Morris back to pass once again. Looking for somebody open. Got all day to throw the football. Pass to the outside is caught. Nice play made by Dario Vera. That might have been Isaiah Coles. I'm not sure. Either way, Scranton State has the football back. First play of this drive handoff to James Rivers. He picks up a gain of about nine. After a loss of three on second down, it's third and four. Quick pass to the outside. Kip McCrary makes the catch, and McCrary picks up a Scranton State first down. First and ten from the 33. Price keeps it himself this time. Nikki Price fights forward for a gain of five. He's taken a beating so far in this one, though. Second and five, handoff goes to Mac Moody. He picks up three more. That'll make it third down and two. On third and two, Andres Vo comes in motion. Vo trying to get to the edge. He's going to get it first down and more as Scranton reaches midfield. First and ten from the 50. Price, quick pass to Mac Moody. Moody trying to get to the edge. Couldn't get a block from anyone. Only a gain of three. Second down and seven. Quick pass to the outside. Kit McCrary. No room on that screen. That's going to be the end of the first quarter. Score is seven to three here in Philadelphia. As Scran looking to take the lead possibly in this one. Third down and seven. Now Price back to pass once again. Anton Ackerman with the catch. There's a first down gain of ten. These quick passes over the middle. Have been great for Scranton all year long. Here's a screen set up for JV on Palmer. And Palmer tries to go up the middle with it. Should have kept it to the outside. Either way, it's a first down. First and ten now. Hand off to Moody once again. Moody cuts right up the middle and picks up a gain of four. Second and six. Quick pass to the outside. Kip McCrary. McCrary's got some space. He picks up a first down and more. Making it first and goal from the nine. Nicky Price back to pass. Now this one lobbed to Kit McCrary, knocked out of his hands. 
Make that second and goal. Fake handoff to Moody. Nikki Price keeps it himself. Price breaks a tackle. He's in the end zone. Nikki Price. He's been taking a beating this entire first half. But he's still able to finish this drive strong and get into the end zone. Let's take another look at this. Strong running by Nikki Price. He sheds off a defender and gives Scranton State six more. Ten to seven as Temple takes back over. Hand off to the running back. He goes right up the middle with it. He's got room. He's going to break a tackle. He's going to go all the way. One play, one touchdown. Temple takes the lead right back. And that's disheartening for an offense that was just out there for, what, seven, eight minutes? Putting together a long, sustained drive. Their defense goes out there and gives up a one-play touchdown. Joe Quez Smith have a first half. 14-10, to 10, Scranton State takes back over. It's another quick pass to the outside for Kip McCrary. Couldn't get a block from Palmer, though. It's a gain of just two. Second down and eight. Another handoff for Mac Moody, and Moody's going to lose three on this one. Third and 11 now. Bryce back to pass again. Looking for somebody open. Has a man open, and he overthrows him. Not the best showing from Nikki Price today. First and 10 play for Temple is a screen, and it's going to be a good one. It's a gain of about 20 yards. They're up to the 35-yard line now as once again they are in no huddle and Brooks Lacey can't get back. Okay. One of the most odd encroachment calls you've ever seen in your life. I guess my guy's not allowed to get back to, uh, you know, the line of scrimmage there. Here's a quick pass to the outside. It's caught. Touchdown. As suddenly it's looking like Temple may begin to run away with this one. This catch makes it 21 to 10. Grand State takes back over, trying to stay in this game. Here's a quick pass underneath, caught by Anton Ackerman. He picks up a gain of about 10. It's second and inches. And off Nikki Price, not Nikki Price. Mac Moody loses four on that play. It's a nice play by Temple. Third down and four now. Quick pass over the middle. That's caught by Rocky Gamble. A game of about six. First and 10 from the 42. Price rolling out to his left, trying to find someone. He's got Andres Vo. Nice gain of six. Good ball by Nikki Price. That'll make it second and four. Quick pass to the outside, trying to get these screens set up. It's just not working today. Third and five. Nikki Price back to pass again. Hit as he throws, and that ball is knocked away. Scran punts it back to Temple. They start this drive right around midfield. And here's a handoff to Joe Quez Smith once again. Smith to the outside. He's got another big gain of about 20 yards. Scranton has no idea how to stop Joe Quez Smith. He is simply running all over them. First and 10 now from the 33. Here's a quick screen to the outside. That ball is caught. It's a loss of about one. And that'll make it second and 11. See what Temple comes up with on second and 11 here. It is a fake handoff to Smith this time. And this pass going deep to the left side. And that one is caught right over the head of Cyrus Crosby. He got head topped. That makes it first and 10 from the 20. Here's a fake handoff to Smith once again. Pass over the middle of the field again. It's caught down to the one. Forrest Brock has this offense moving. First and goal from the one. Quick toss to the outside. Brooks Lacey shoots a gap and makes a loss of four. Second and goal from the five now. Pass over the middle. That is caught by Joe Quez Smith. He picks up three yards. It's third and two. Can Scranton get off the field here? Quick pass. This, this is going nowhere. It's a loss of two. Scranton able to hold them to a field goal. 24 to 10 is your score. Minute left in the game in the half. Mac Moody makes this catch here, and he takes a screen for a gain of about 10. 
50 seconds remaining in the half now. Price back to pass. This one's going underneath quickly for James Rivers, and Rivers got room to run. Gain of 13 and a first down. First and 10 from the 40 now. Price back to pass. Rolling to his left, looking for someone open, and he's going to hit Andres Vo. Not sure how that catch was made between two defenders, but it was. First and 10 from the 44. Price back to pass again. Lobbing to the end zone. It's knocked away from JV on Palmer. Took a shot there on first down. That'll make it second and 10. Quick pass underneath. That's caught by Rocky Gamble. He runs like he has weighted shoes on, and Scranton State will call a timeout. Third and three, 15 seconds left in the half. Nikki Price steps up. He's going to take it himself. Nikki Price out of bounds at the 18. It's a big gain. First and 10 from the 18-yard line now. Price rolling to his left, looking for someone open. He's going to keep it himself again. He makes a man miss, and it's another first down up to the seven. Last play of the half. Scranton State pass to the outside, caught by Andres Vo. Bold decision by Coach Brandon Pointer to go for it on that one. Could have easily taken the three points, but instead he wanted to be down by just one score going into the half, and Andres Vo does it for him. It's time for halftime. Welcome to the 24 Ken Halftime Report. We've got ourselves a Pennsylvania showdown going just as good as you could possibly ask for it. We're going to call this one the... The, the I-476 Bowl, because those are that's the road connecting Philly and Scranton. We got the I-476 Bowl, first time in history. Right now, Temple up 24-17 at the half, but I think we got ourselves a barn burner game for the rest of the way. I can just feel it. I can feel it down here in Lincoln Financial Field. Let's get right back to the action. See ya. Temple will start this second half with the football. York kicks this one underway. It'll be fielded maybe a yard deep in the end zone. Takes this one out, and he's hit hard. He loses the football. Scranton State recovers. Carmelo Hayward with a massive hit on the, re on the return, man. And that one scooped up by Ahmad Young. Scranton State now with the ball. Nikki Price back to pass, looking to take advantage, and it's knocked away and picked off. And just like that, Temple starts with the ball anyways. They might as well have just returned it to the 20, because after those plays, that's where they start the ball. We'll take another look at this one here. Nikki Price wanted to make them pay immediately. And it was knocked away from Kit McCrary and picked off in the end zone. Temple takes back over now. Here is a handoff to Joe Quez Smith as he's able to pick up a gain of about five. Seven carries, 129 yards for Joe Quez Smith. I'll make it second down and five. And here is a pass underneath that is caught by the tight end. Gain of about seven yards, first down Temple. First and 10 from the 31. Back to pass again. And this time under pressure, Isaiah Coles. It's a loss of seven on the sack. And we are going to get a look at a replay here. How did Isaiah Coles get in there so quickly? Oh, he just did one simple swim move and he was in the backfield. Your right tackle's got to give a better effort than that. Second down and 17. This pass knocked away by Isaiah Coles. This drive is all him. Third down and 17. Screen set up for Joe Quez Smith. And Smith breaks a tackle. Joe Quez Smith able to pick up 15 and makes it fourth and one. But Temple punts off to Ty Hardy. Ty Hardy fields it, and he's able to actually find some space here. It's a solid return up to about the 33-yard line. First down and 10. And off to James Rivers. Not much room. Picks up two yards. I'll make it second down and eight. Mac Moody back into the game. It's a fake to Moody and a quick pass to him. Mac Moody able to pick up a gain of seven. It's third and one. And on third down, hand off to Moody. Moody up the middle, sheds a tackler, and picks up a first down. First and ten from the 46 now. Back to pass, Price finds Vo over the middle. Vo able to pick up a first down and more as Scranton crosses midfield up to the 38. 
Another first down. Price lobbing for Andres Vaux, and it's knocked away. Tried to give his big man a chance there. Instead, it is second down. And here's another screen pass, and they're just all over him. They've been all over those all day. Third down and 10. Quick pass to the outside. That's James Rivers with the catch. James Rivers with a big time gain. Gets it all the way down to the 17 yard line. Inside the red zone now. Mac Moody in motion to pass to him on the outside. Finally, he has a little bit of space with it. Mac Moody all the way up to the three. First and goal from the three yard line. Quick flip to Andres Vo, trying to get the edge. Andres Vo, touchdown, Scranton. Just like that, even after all the trials and tribulations of how this first half or this second half started, Scranton State able to tie the game at 24. Temple takes back over. Here's a quick pass to the outside. It just caught gain of about five on the screen there. At least one of the teams here is able to set those up. That'll make it second and five. Of course, this whole time, we are watching Joe Quez Smith in the backfield. Every time he touches the ball, it's like he has a ton of room. Not quite that time, though, as he's only able to pick up a gain of about two yards. And that makes it third down and three. On third and three. Changes being made at the line of scrimmage. Don't mind the voice crack. It didn't actually happen. Quarterback keeps it himself, and he's not quite going to get the first down. Brooks Lacey makes the play. Grant takes back over at the 31-yard line. Handoff, James Rivers. He's got no room. It's a loss of two. Second down and 12. Price back to pass. Quick one to the outside. That's Mac Moody. Moody picks up a first down and more. Gain of 15. First and 10 from the 44. Screen set up for Ackerman. This time there's a little bit of space as he's able to pick up six. Second and four, handoff to Moody once again. He goes right up the middle with it. He's got enough for the first down. Scranton crosses midfield once again. First down and 10 now. Trying to get this pass to Rocky Gamble. Nicky Price couldn't get enough on it. Second down and 10. Here's a screen, and it's off the mark. I'll make it third and 10. Price underneath. That's caught by Anton Ackerman. That'll make it fourth and four. And Scranton stays on the field. Fourth down and four. Price rolling to his right. He finds Javion Palmer. First down, Scranton State. Nearing the red zone once again. Here's a handoff for Mac Moody. Moody makes a man miss. He picks up another lightning first down. We've reached the end of the third quarter. 24 to 24 is your score here in this one as Joe Quez Smith has been running all over us. First and 10 now from the 20, Price rolling to his right. Nikki Price has room. Nikki Price to the end zone, touchdown Scranton State. It feels like lanes just open up for him. I can't quite understand how Nikki Price is always finding a hole to run through. He's He's always getting to the outside. Nikki Price always has a lane to run. This time he gets around the edge and nobody was going to catch him as he gives Scranton State the lead. 31 to 24 as Temple takes back over. Here's another handoff for Joe Quez Smith and it appears Scranton State has made it a point to be on him in this second half as they've given up a lot less big gains. I also suppose he hasn't had too many carries in the second half as well. Second down and seven. This is a sack. This is a sack. What a weird call. Couldn't quite see who got in there. Was the big man in the middle? May have been Zachariah Pearson. Is it's third down and 13? And Temple trying to get a big play here, and they're going to get it. The tight end with a first down and much more as he crosses midfield. It's a gain of about 30. And of course, Temple. No huddles back to the line once again. And running around in the pocket. He's taken down. It's a massive loss of 12. They're giving this credit to Josiah Pritchett. Like it was a big hit here as well. 
Texas. Yeah, Pritchett speared him. Something like Edge. Second down and 22. Handoff goes to Joe Quest Smith once again. He's able to pick up six. That makes it third and 16. Third down and 16 now. Looking for another big conversion. Pass going to the end zone. It is caught for a touchdown. Temple takes the top off the defense. As Dante Wright. How do you allow that to happen? Third and 16, you're in a deep third on the left side of the field. Your only job is to not let anyone get behind you. And what do you do? You let them get behind you. Chauncey McCollum, you might stink. First and 10, Grand State takes back over. First play of this drive, handoff to James Rivers. That's a gain of about seven. I'll make it second and three. Mac Moody. Looking good to get to the outside once again. Moody in between his blocks. Able to pick up a first down and more up to the 39-yard line. Here's a handoff to Moody now. And Moody, he just he just like Nicky Price, he just finds space. Second and four. Price keeps it himself. Pass to the outside. Caught by Rocky Gamble. Gamble's got his first down gain of about 10, but there's a flag. I believe they're going to get an illegal man downfield on Scranton. Yes, they are. Second and nine instead of a first down. Hand off James Rivers trying to make it a more manageable third down. And Nicky Price must have liked something he saw on the defense. He's got his team right back up to the line of scrimmage. Third down and seven. Price back to pass. That one underneath knocked away from Javion Palmer. And Scran State punts it right back to Temple. First play of this drive. Temple back to pass again, going deep down the field. This one's knocked away. Aaron Bruner makes the play. Second and 10 from the 24, handoff to 24. Joe Quez Smith picks up just a yard. That makes it third and nine. And on third down now, back to pass. That one is overthrown as Chauncey McCollum was beat again. Got lucky there that time. First and 10, Grant takes over at their own 30. James Rivers takes the ball for a gain of three. Handoff going to Mac Moody now, and Moody finds a lane. He picks up a first down, gain of 13. First and 10 from the 46. Nicky Price nearly throws an interception, and that makes it second and 10. Price back to pass again. Quickly going underneath, caught by Mac Moody. It's a loss of two, though. Price was under pressure. Third down and 12. Looking for a big play here. Pass over the middle, and it's... At the feet of Andres Vo. Price had a chance here, but just not a good ball for Vo. Price been a little off the mark this episode. First and 10, Temple takes back over. Gain of three for Joe Quez Smith. That'll make it second down and seven. Of course, Temple hurries up to the line. And here's a fake handoff to Smith. Pass going over the middle of the field. It's caught by Dante Wright. And Dante Wright beats McCollum once again. Chauncey McCollum may get sent into exile. He's in a deep third once again, and he lets the man get behind him. How does that happen? Scranton State takes over down 38-31. Nikki Price with another huge gain with his legs up to the 38. Just under three minutes left in this game. Quick pass over the middle. There is a catch for James Rivers. It's second down and five. Price going deep now. Looking for JB on Palmer, and he's got him. JB on Palmer with a huge catch and a beautiful pass from Nicky. He's had a weird game, man. He's missed some really easy throws, but then right there to JV on Palmer, he makes a big time throw. At the 16-yard line now, handoff goes to Mac Moody. He picks up a gain of about three. That'll make it second and seven. Nicky Price rolling to his right, looking for a man open. Going to the end zone. Jump ball. Rocky Gamble can't come down with it. That'll make it third and seven. Price back to pass again. This one underneath for Kit McCrary. McCrary's got a first down up to the two-yard line. First and goal from the two. Hand off Mac Moody. Moody taken down at the one. Once again, Price must have liked something he saw, though. He hustles his guys back up to the line. It's another handoff for Moody, and this time he's going to lose a yard. 
Third and goal from the two. Price back to pass again. Looking for somebody open. Floating to the back of the end zone. It's caught by Kim McCrary. What a throw and catch by Nikki Price to Kip McCrary. I don't understand this kid, man. He's missed some really easy throws today and then makes two of his hardest throws on the entire day right here. That's beautiful. 38 to 38, Temple takes back over. They're looking to get down the field in this one. There's a gain of six. They're looking to get down the field in this one. They're always looking to get down the field. Good call, me. Second down and four after a quick pass to the tight end. Second down play, another drop back. Pass goes underneath, caught by Joe Quest Smith. It's a gain of just three, and that'll make it third down and one. On third down now, Scranton with a chance to get the ball back to the offense. Temple, quick pass to the outside. It's caught by the tight end. He's got a first down and more. He's up to the 50. Just when you think Temple has a chance, it slips out of their hands. First and 10 from the 50, quick pass underneath. It's a gain of about six. Temple going to hurry up to the line once again. Just about 35 seconds left in this game on second down and four. Back to pass once again. Looking deep down the left side. That ball is caught. This time it's Dorian Shields getting beat as Temple sets up for the game-winning field goal. This one is up, and it's right down the middle. Temple takes a 41-38 lead with just three seconds remaining. And now one last chance for Scranton State will come on the kickoff. Ahmad Young and Mac Moody back deep to return. Moody going to be the one that fields it at about the six-yard line. Mac Moody looking for space up the middle. Tries to cut to the outside. He's not going to get there. Temple comes away with the win. 41 to 38 is your score. And I know those fans over at Penn State, all those Nittany Lions over there are going to be holding up their Scranton State choker signs after this one. They're playing close games. They just haven't been able to quite finish one. Scranton State, it feels like we're on the verge of our first win. Just wasn't going to come today versus Temple. Let's send y'all over to the post-game report. Heartbreak, heartbreak, heartbreak. Guys, if you made it this far into the video, comment Chauncey McCollum to the moon. This has been 24 Kin. See you next time. Peace.